Hey everybody, it's uh, Derek, um, Snoopy0812, some of you guys know me. Today I'm taking a look at the S-Max Intercoolers Vacuum Distribution Block. Um, what it is, is it's, uh, well, let's find out actually. So what you get when you get it in the mail, it's actually in a bigger box, but uh, this is the box inside the box. It, uh, let's take a look at the uh, stuff on the package here. Uh, it says what it is, gives you um, part number. It says I4 Dual Number 10 or Black. And then it's got their website at the bottom. Inside, you get this little fellow. Um, taking a look here, uh, it's uh, kind of interesting, actually. Um, well, start with the start with the basics. It's got a mounting plate on it. Um, it has their logo embossed on it. It's good light there. And mounting plate uh, seems to be removable, which is good because not everybody needs a mounting plate. Um, the 10 orb is uh, the fitting that um, is actually on the side for mounting it. The dual is because it is a pass through which what they tell me is is their original blocks wasn't a pass through their original block was just the one and you made your T or whatever tapped in somewhere on your block ran the, vac the vacuum source to here and then took your ports off of it they've decided to change that and make it a pass through system so you're not adding a T anywhere you're just adding it in line which is uh, a nicer tidier way of doing pretty much the exact same thing as what they were doing before just a little bit nicer um, the I4 refer references the, um, the four port locations that are on the front of it. These are 1 8 NTP fittings, and they happen to send me some uh, fittings to go into it. Now, uh, something to note is the fittings don't actually come with it when you order it, uh, but considering the very low price of the vacuum distribution block, that's okay. And if you actually look on their website, they do sell the fittings. Again, really stupidly cheap, but I do have a complaint. When you look at some of their fittings on the their website, it um, it doesn't tell you how many you're buying for what price. So is it are you getting four fittings for the price, or are you getting six fittings for the price, uh, or or what's happening? Some of their fittings, um, like I'll take this one for instance. I'll pull up their website here just so I don't look like a jackass, and I'll click on the black ones that I've got here. And all it says is quarter inch barb to eighth inch NTP fitting black. That's all it says. It doesn't say how many you're buying. But if you click on, say, the silver ones, it also says the same thing. They also happen to have a red one. And it says the same thing. And if I click on the black, uh, on the blue one specifically, okay, so here we go. We're looking at the blue one specifically now. It says six pack. Of quarter inch barb to eight in eight eighth inch NTP fittings blue, but it's the same price as all the other colors. So when you're ordering it, do you order six of the other colors and blue just happens to be dirt cheap, or are you actually getting six? And if you order multiples, you're going to end up with like 36 of these damn things showing up at your door. So that's a good question that hopefully they're they're willing to deal with um, and maybe fix on their website maybe add a little bit more detail and I'm gonna pull open their their web page on the vacuum block just make sure I haven't missed anything and no nope, pretty much everything that you see is all you get but again on their website they don't tell you that it does not come with the fittings so that's kind of a bummer for me because it's not it's not a lot of details but it also says you don't get like it doesn't say that you do get the fittings it just doesn't say that they're not included um, so I guess you could assume that they're not included but don't assume that they are because they're really not um, the product itself is made out of um, billet aluminum which um, is just regular aluminum that's milled from a block. Um, very durable design. You can see that it's actually really thick. It's 
really thick. Um, their mounting bracket is really thick as well. It is not flimsy. I can't bend it, but I'm also a cripple right now, so that's not really saying all that much. Um, they do offer the two mounting holes, um, but you could probably, if you needed a different distance or whatever, you could just drill a hole or widen the hole or, or whatever. It's only aluminum. Um, the anodization is really, th seems to be really durable. Obviously metal tools will, uh, will damage it, but you're definitely not going to be able to rub it off. So that's good. Uh, covering what you would need a vacuum distribution block for. Um, well, you can put the one fitting in for your boost gauge, and you can put the other fitting in for your um, uh, blow-off valve. There you go, there's two fittings. That um, you're not having to tap in and make a big clump of a mess underneath your hood. Um, I would say you could use definitely use this for va uh, vacuum boost, which mounted it in the Genesis Coupe. Um, in the method that I'm thinking of mounting it, uh, is what you would do. You'd mount it as vacuum and boost. Um, and you just use a little bit of pipe thread or whatever. But I'm actually going to install this in my car. So you guys are actually going to get an installation video on this. I just have to get my car back. That's, that's all. Um, it's in, in the shop right now for uh, some maintenance, as some people know. Um, warranty related maintenance as usual. Uh, so when that comes back, I'm actually going to be installing it. We're going to be covering the installation and where specifically on the Genesis Coupe you can put it in the various locations that we happen to have on the Genesis Coupe um, and cover connecting peripherals to it, um, such as your boost gauge and your other stuff. So stay tuned or subscribe. Yeah, that's it. YouTube people subscribe. So subscribe to my YouTube so you can get an update on when I do the install for this particular device. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.